There's a lot of bearish sentiment and media hit pieces against these Wall Street bets assets right now. Let's talk about that. This is a funny little article from Bazinga.com. I don't follow this website, but it says looking ahead, analysts are expecting AMC fundamentals to bring the stock back down to earth within the next 12 months. Average price among seven analysts covering the stock is $2, suggesting an 81% downside from current levels. So we're covering both sides of the trade here. This is the bearish sentiment against AMC right now. And here's the charts. This is a daily chart for AMC. And we have our old gigantic magic wedge back here. The yellow lines. All I'm gonna do is extend this. I'm gonna keep the same trajectory. Just move it into the future. I can bring it up even higher to some of the next target areas. And what that does is gives us a little room for bullish accumulation to be happening right here. This is an interesting candle, guys. We had an indecision right here the other day. And we actually have somewhat of another one come through right now. So there hasn't been any major changes, any significant trend changes or pattern changes here. It was deceiving. There are false signals on the lower time frame charts. I'll talk about that in just a second. But for now, on this chart, it looks good the further you zoom out. Also on the indicators, we have seen our uh, fifth bearish momentum candle come through. One, two, three, four, five. We were on the fourth one last time, expecting a fifth. And with the last opening being somewhat red, that was a fifth bearish bar right there. And that, that's through. Just like back here, when we saw five of them come through, I would anticipate some sort of bullish momentum coming through now in the near future. So we could be very close to a bottom, according to this indicator. It's also getting more bullish on the shorter time frame. So the two hour chart or the one hour chart is green. 30 minute screen, 15 is green as well. So the AMC indicators are bullish on the short to mid term. So now this is our, our day trading chart. Speaking of the short to mid term. So I'm going to zoom out a bit. And since the price is currently below this long-term support line, the yellow one. Let me go ahead and readjust that because we like to be flexible when things change. And our lines are not gonna be perfect all the time. So I'm gonna just drag it slightly lower to match up with where we wicked down just the other day. Right here. And that still lines up very nicely on the higher, um, the previous action down here. So I, I may even raise this just a little bit, something like that. And there we have it. That's a nice long-term support trend line for now. When we draw it like that, it is indeed holding still. Now, zooming in, so things get even more interesting. 
because there is a slight break of a trend line here, like so. And the price started falling through a little bit. However, still very much within our accumulation box. This is bullish accumulation. That's why it's the color green on my chart. This isn't a bearish box. And it wicked down. Be careful with stop losses right now. It's tricky to manage stop losses on this kind of volatility. So it faked a lot of people out right there once more, just like back here. And it appears to be a bear trap. So the price is currently much higher than where that wick came down. It's up 6% from there already. And it is looking to continue because on the shorter time frames, day traders, because it is on top of these moving averages. So this looks bullish right now on shorter time frames and higher time frames. Okay. I like the way this recovery is playing out. We're seeing a lot of up and down. It's getting very tight now. And the long term support is still holding. So stay calm, hold strong. On the RSI, we're anticipating a bounce from the support trend line. We're seeing that now. It is extending beyond the mean back up towards um, overbought territory. So, if it returns higher to this range, then the share price should also be climbing pretty substantially by that time. Cool. Moving on to GME. Patience is key here. I know there was some some green coming through throughout the last trading day. However, it has tested this long-term resistance and been rejected from there currently. So even though we anticipated this move, I haven't uh, realigned any of these arrows. We'll remove this. I was trying to show there's a lot of chaos in this area. So we've retested that and rejected from there. That's coming from this wedge. That is one of the bigger wedges at play here. You can see this trend line goes all the way back up to the first breakout. So it is very valid, very relevant right now still. And even though the price is pushing higher, it's climbing higher, it's still underneath. So at the time being, there's no kind of confirmation here on an extended breakout coming forwards. Um, it's going to take a little more time. As you saw right here, even if the price does break back out, we need to see some kind of support holding here going forwards off these moving averages. So it could break out, retest even lower and then go off. That's why it's still too early. Mm. People who bought right here may regret it. It's at the moment the chart continues to be bearish until the price returns back to this area. And it has to hold up there. We don't know exactly when that might occur, but we 
we do have this other resistance over here as well. So there is a nice bullish long scalp in the making here, potentially off this buy box. Or I, I, I'm not calling this a buy box anymore. It is not a buy box. Hmm. It is a confluence box. It still might hold as support and bounce off there. So if we do see that, there's a nice long scalp in the making. Potentially 30 to 40% to the green side. Thereafter, we're going to run in. To the same scenario so it is a simplistic chart now as the daily game stop chart it's about as simple as i can possibly draw it here so removing all the intraday support and resistance lines so you can see that it's well below the red line that's been holding as resistance for a long time now a couple weeks that's important right now candle close below there that's bearish signal also it has some time until it does indeed retest well it's gonna be a real important test it's not a retest it's a test of this resistance I'm waiting to see what happens at that point. Is it going to break out and find support and then go higher? Or is it going to break out and get rejected and plummet back down to the real buy box down around $100? I'll keep you posted. And we do have our live stream Thursday this week, Thursday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Hope to see you there. It's going to be a good time. Expecting a lot of volatility in the markets. So we'll start 30 minutes before the opening for pre-market analysis as usual. And this is the GameStop indicators. It's a little bit of bullishness coming through on the MACD as um, we saw with that little spike. But it's not much yet. It's a little early on that. And the RSI, I'm gonna go back to the shorter time frame chart. So I had some lines on here from the other day. So the green was our projection. Um, I'm gonna remove that now. And it did break up from this little triangle. And that's part of why we saw the bullishness that day. Ever it is, it is rolling over quite a bit right here. And it could absolutely come lower back to this trend line for continuation. So at the moment, it is somewhat bearish looking on the RSI. Great. Lastly, for CCIV holders, real quick update here remember this is our risk to reward trade very low risk very high reward and of course this is just a rough estimate so ideally you would have wanted a more um concert uh let's call it a more flexible stop loss so you wouldn't have wanted it that tight. I just had that there for illustration purposes. So let's call it about there. And that's only a 4.5% stop loss from that entry at about $22. And it's up quite a bit from there already. It's up 7%. So it's looking good. CCIV is recovering well it's on top of the moving averages. Happy trading. Till next time. Take care.